Hey guys, uh, so I'm in Burgos, that's the Burgos Cathedral behind me, and sorry I'm wearing my sunglasses, but the sun keeps poking through, uh, and it's so bright out here when it does that uh, it bl kind of blinds me. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're in Burgos, but we, we took a bus here, and so I was going to update everyone on the trip. Um, turns out we're going to cut it short. Um, the boys are having some uh, some issues and uh, Jack Jack's having having some problems that are making it difficult to walk and so he bust he bust forward to Burgos he was gonna uh, you know sort of rest for a couple of days and see if he felt felt like continuing and then um, and then we had um, you know and then Joe and I were gonna continue walking and meet him here but then uh, Joe ended up in the hospital with uh, you know he, he had an allergic reaction to uh, he's, he's got some nut allergies and got some pesto that had the wrong kind of nut in it apparently so uh, so we ended up having to rush him to the hospital um, to get that uh, treated uh, and it was kind of serious don't want to overstate it but um, but it was uh, sort of a serious situation we were there all night and um, and uh, it all just kind of took the wind out of our sails here so um, uh, so Joe, so the boys are, you know, eager to get home, um, you know, and uh, you know, get get back to familiar surroundings, and um, and we're all sick, <laughs> so we all. Joe got it first. Joe got sick first, and and um, and then you know that went on for a couple of days. I thought I was going to escape it, but um, then I got it a couple of days ago. Uh, which is fine. I, I expect to get sick on every Camino because you're you're just in these places where they're crowded and, and there's always something floating around. Um, but uh, but it doesn't help. You know the the combined with the other issues that they were having, um, they just don't feel like walking anymore. And um, you know the, my legs actually feel good. My knees are good. My legs are good. So I I, I was ready to continue, but um, it just doesn't. Uh, yeah, I got to get the boys home. So we're tomorrow. We're gonna take a train up to uh, Bilbao, which is uh, pretty cheap. So if you're ever in Burgos and you need to get out of Burgos and get back home, uh, we did some research, and it seems like the cheapest way out is to take the train out of uh, out of Burgos to Bilbao, which is like twenty five uh, twenty five dollars, something like that, and then um, and then you you take a flight from Bilbao and we're gonna fly into Paris and so that was like fifty dollars um, I think it was dollars because it might the app usually converts it for me but I but I think that's what it was so um, yeah so that gets us into Paris and then we get a direct flight uh, from Paris which is also pretty cheap uh, relatively cheap um, back back home so that gets the boys there I had, I had thought about for a minute um, about sticking around Europe you know, basically taking the boys up to uh, Paris and getting them on a plane home, and then once they're, you know, once they're there, I'm I'm not too worried about it. Um, but uh, you know, connect, getting all the connections and all that is kind of tricky. So I was going to escort them up to uh, Paris, and then um, and then just put them put them on a plane, and then and then hang out around. Europe on my own and maybe see some places I hadn't seen before. I thought maybe I'll come back down and do some walking and then I just thought, nah, I just don't, just don't feel like it. The, um, yeah, the uh, trip just sort of uh, kind of went, went the wrong direction here in the last couple of days. But uh, yeah, so I'll have to plan, I'll have to plan a, another time. And I was thinking maybe, uh, maybe going to Asia at the end of the year. So we'll, so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, it's the weather's been really strangely cold. Like today, uh, it's been freezing cold all day. It's June second, um, and uh, not sure why, other other than uh, you know conspiracy theory stuff. But um, anyway, the uh, um, but the sun is just now breaking through, so it's either too cold or it's too warm, and I'm running a fever, so my body won't won't adjust <laughs> to either one. But, uh, but this, is, this is kind of the downside of the Camino. These are the things that make it challenging. And if I was by myself, I would just keep walking. I, it doesn't matter that I'm sick. You know, I, I just walk through it like I did. I got uh, really sick 
um, much worse than this uh, two years ago. And um, yeah, you just take, you know, you just take some medicine for it and walk right through it and finish the Camino. But um, with, uh, with the other issues with the boys, um, it doesn't make sense. So yeah, we ended up, uh, we got checked into the um, albergue in uh, Santo Domingo. And um, sorry, I'm gonna get something out of my eye. There's dust blowing around. Um, we got checked into the albergue in Santo Domingo. Um, and, um, you know, and then Joe and I were sitting down uh, having, a, having a drink in the evening and he just, and he kind of ran off for a second and, and he came back and asked if his eyes were red. And I said, yeah, a little bit. He goes, I think I need to go to the hospital. And, um, you know, he's just, he knew something was coming because he, he um, you know, he knows the symptoms. And, uh, and so I, you know, asked him a few questions about it and, and, and uh, it seemed like he was going to uh, have, uh, have an allergic reaction uh, to something he ate. And it, and it turns out that, you know, the, uh, pesto sauce, I guess, uh, had the wrong kind of nut in it or something. So, um, so yeah, so we raced off to the, there was a clinic about a, I don't know, a third of a mile away. So we kind of ran over there and got, got into the clinic as he was starting to really kind of get bad and, and, um, got them to, uh, you know, give him, uh, something for it and got it under control. And then we had to, you know, keep him there to observe him all night and they did a really good job and uh but we had to stay there uh well we transferred him to a hospital and and um and we stayed there uh all night while they observed him and um so you know by morning we uh, we were just exhausted and mentally uh you know just kind of done and uh so the boys don't uh feel like continuing and uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it quits here so um, and I'll, I'll come back and do it another time. Uh, it's sort of, uh, lost, uh, lost our enthusiasm for it at this time. So, and I, and I don't blame the boys. They're, they're having a tough time. Um, it just happens sometimes. Normally they're in good shape, but you know, you get one, the thing about the Camino is you have, uh, you know, if you have any minor issues, it could be blisters. That's why I spend so much time talking about wearing the right shoes. I'm, I'm looking at people's feet in the albergue here and um, they're just so damaged. They're, they're wearing, wearing those heavy boots. You can have blisters that get infected and just, you know, shut down your, your Camino. So, um, and uh, yeah, so uh, that's where we're at. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna take a bus uh, to Bilbao tomorrow. And then uh, we got a flight um, back to Paris and uh and then a flight home from there and then uh and then i'll plan uh something else uh for maybe later this year i was thinking about going to asia um this one's just sort of been a grind even though it's it's a little easier when when i'm alone uh because i just walk through it i just uh you know even we're all sick so there's something floating around the camino and this and this happens every time so you you expect to get sick uh you know you got hundreds of people all in you know in the same close quarters and uh mixing and you're walking you know through a whole region and um you know different parts of the country and and you just expect to get sick you know, you're gonna get something and uh so i've been sick on almost every trip i've taken I got sick in Asia last year, sick on the Camino in 2022. Somehow I escaped it on the Camino last year, even though Joe got really sick. Um, but uh, um, yeah, so that's not that's not the reason we're uh, you know we're stopping. But uh, but it doesn't help. You know, it just sort of takes your takes your energy away. And I thought I was going to get away without getting sick, but. Um, you know, because Joe had it for a couple of days and I felt fine. Jack was fine. And now today I think Jack's getting, he says he's feeling a little bit, some, something coming on. And, um, and I've had it for a couple of days. So, um, yeah. And one of the things that happened, uh, you know, the other night when we had to go to the hospital, all of our stuff was back at the albergue. So, um, the, I, I called in the morning 
um, and let them know that we, you know, we were in the hospital all night and our stuff is still at the albergue. And, and I was able to get the guy on the phone and tell him and, and just asked him to leave our, uh, you know, our uh, beds intact and we would, re, you know, we would stay there another night um, if he can just leave the stuff there. So everything was there except that I have my silk sleeping liner uh, that's, that's, that's white and it's the same color as the paper sheets they give you um, for the mattresses. And so whoever did the cleaning grabbed my uh, silk liner and threw it away. So somewhere uh, my silk liner is gone. And so, uh, and, and this, uh, this municipal albergue tonight is, uh, it, it, they don't have blankets and it's a little chilly in there. <laughs> so it's, it's, this, this one's not quite as, uh, if, if it was the room last night where you got like, you know, a bunch of people in a very, uh, you know, in a small room and they, and you got people that want all of the windows closed. We had some very demanding, uh, Europeans. I think they were French or something. And, uh. They insisted on sealing everything shut, uh, all the windows, so it smelled like sweaty bodies, and and uh, it was quite warm in, inside. Um, but uh, uh, you know, it, it meant you didn't need any blankets, so I was fine last night. But uh, tonight is going to be tricky because we're in a, a a room that's a little more breezy, and it's Sunday, so everything's closed. I can't buy anything. Um, you know, the only things that are open are like little are basically restaurants and a couple little souvenir shops. So what I got is I got one of these Camino ponchos and I'm going to uh, use that to keep the you know cold air off of me. I'll just wear all my clothes to bed, which is pretty much what I've been doing anyways. But uh, yeah, you just kind of uh, make do with what you got on the Camino. That's, that's how I do it anyways. So um, yeah, so that's where we're at. And it's been very cold. It's it's weird. It's uh, oddly cold. It's uh, June second, and um, it was cloudy all day. Cloudy and cold and windy. And finally, the sun just came out about 30 minutes ago. And uh, but it's still cold. It's uh, I'm not sure why. It's not normally this chilly, I think. But um, yeah. So anyway, that's the that's the plan. We're gonna yeah we're gonna call it quits. And um, I'm not going to be able to finish, unfortunately. Joe, Joe and I are fine with it because we completed it last year. We did it, you know, we did it from start to finish. Uh, every stage didn't, you know, didn't have to skip anything. So, so we're satisfied with last year. Um, somebody crying over there. Um, you know, so we're so we're satisfied with uh, how we did it last year. And this was more just for the boys to come have a good time, but Jack's not enjoying it because he's, uh, you know, having some problems. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, it just kind of just kind of makes it uh, not enjoyable for them. So, uh, so we're just going to uh, um, call it uh, quits here. So, uh, let's see what else. Um, as far as uh, as far as the number of people walking the Camino, it's pretty thin right now. Uh, we t we did start at the right time. It, you know, the the albergue last night was only half full. The room we were in, um, there was nobody in the top bunks. There was like ten or uh, one, two, three, four, like ten of us in the bottom bunks, and then there were you know supposed to be twenty people or something in that room, and and there was just nobody uh, in the top bunks. So so we all had a bottom bunk and. And, um, you know, so it was only half full. I think, uh, basically, I think the early Easter got everybody uh, interested in starting early and also people that uh, experienced it last year when it was really busy um, <coughs> probably thought they would get a jump on the crowd and um, start earlier, but that just forced everybody into the same couple of weeks. So. Uh, you know, the time we came, it's it's been fine. We haven't struggled to find a bed at all. Um, you can come in at any time of the day and probably still find a bed. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's basically it. Um, there's just, uh, yeah, you can feel it's just, it's just quiet right now. So, um, anyway, and my energy's a little low because I'm sick, so.